so now let's try to learn about the another new concept for positioning the elements so up to now what we have seen how i can position the elements uh, so sideways or center or this side that side so how i want to place the elements we are able to see it now let's try to learn <clears throat> the another one that is nothing but positioning wherever i want so this one wherever i want i want to place it this side or that side wherever i want it so let's try to learn that one concept those are positioning elements so we call it as in positioning elements let's try to learn about the positioning so for positioning elements let's go into this notepad yeah so these are called as a positioning elements so positioning elements we have around four or five types so yesterday only we have discussed so first one is the static okay so the default one by every css value we will have we will be having a default value right so for this property name is position and these are all the property values for this position the default value is always static so how the elements are behaving are that nothing but a static behavior only so that is the default one so we know about the default one if you don't mention the position means the default value for that one is static only now we need to understand about the relative and we need to understand about the absolute and another value is the fixed and the last one is the sticky which was introduced so this sticky most probably it will, it will not work in all the browsers but okay we can we will learn about that one also but you need to keep it in mind so these are these all are there long back onwards six sticky was came recently so okay fine so what is the static so we understood so by default behavior if you don't mention any uh, any position for any element the default default behavior for this one position is static so that is clear now we need to learn about the relative let's say that here we are having an html so here i'll be having a parent class is equal to parent let's say that parent and here we are having some p elements paragraph one okay paragraph two and here i'll be having paragraph three and paragraph four let's assume and paragraph five so these are the five paragraphs which we are having let's try to style these things so style and here i'll be having a parent okay parent let's try to keep it uh, parent and i will give a background color something like gray light gray or something like this light gray and this one is a paragraph element so let's try to design this paragraph element and background color i will be having something like anything blue or comes on later. so i will give a padding of 20 pixel now let's try to see how the output will come if i go open this position dot chtml i have opened this position now we are able to see this all paragraph elements and the background color the parent is a uh, grayish color so here the parent is a grayish color if you try to mention the height 400 pixel it will take the 400 pixels so that so these are four rupees so this is the parent which is having this much of bottom so these are all the paragraph elements which are there now these are positioned statically so one by one down one by one down one by one down so as the place where it is intended it is placed normally so these are static behavior now let's say that for this paragraph 2 i will change it to relative so for example let's say that paragraph which is of nth top type so i am directly trying to take the second element so i am trying to take the second element okay so these are pseudo classes pseudo class selectors so now i am trying to take i am trying to select the second element and for this select uh, second element i want to move something like left of 20 pixel or 30 pixel so i want to move left side 30 pixel left side means so this side so i want to move this side left side so if i try to refresh this page so as this one is in a static behavior so this will not move to anywhere so if you want to do it margin left uh, margin uh, sorry left and all those things it will not obey so if you want to move it means normally what you will try to do so you will try to give margin left so then you will have a gap of 30 pixel this side so here you guys have a gap of 30 pixel so this one is a margin but i want to use a left of 30 pixel so in order to apply this one so what you need to do is you need to make it as a position of relative so if you make this one as a position of relative then this left will move 30 pixel to this one so here this has moved 30 pixel okay if I, if I try to make it as 10 pixel then you will understand it so now this has moved 10 pixel so relative means 
it will try to move relative to its content so relative to the element so the parent element where it is present so it will move relative to this one so wherever you want to place it you can place it but the gap whatever the, the the gap and the element where it has been present previously it will stay the space will be left out like that only the space will not be removed and here if i try to place it as from top onwards it should be something like 40 pixel means from the place where it is there so from there it will move down from the top it will take the 40 pixel gap so like this we can place this is the relative thing so wherever you want to place it you can place it but the gap where this element has came from so that gap will be remained like that only so this is one thing and another one what we will be having is so you can mention this one as position absolute so another one is in position absolute so this position absolute immediately if you try to place it so immediately this one will be removed from the dom so here it will appear in a such a way that as if that element is not present previously for the relative element the dom kept the space for that one so the space is left like that only but whereas if you try to place it as an absolute it is removed from the dom element and it will flow take around the html now if i want to now i have removed it from this one and these all the remaining paragraphs has moved upwards why because the second element has removed from the dom so now wherever i want to place this paragraph i can place it so now i want to place it at the top so top at the right at the top right side left side i want to place it so what i can do here i can mention it this one as top zero pixel so now it will go to the top and it will place it at the top okay where it was on okay it has gone and then set it is. so let's try to make it as top 20 pixel or something like that so that we'll be able to see it where is this one yeah here we are able to see it right at the back side it has went actually <laughs> sorry it in the front side it has went so here you are able to see it right paragraph 2 so this one will be moved across wherever we want to place it we can move it so now if i try to play, place it as left 30 pixel or something like this so it will be moved accordingly wherever i want to place it i can place it for example i want to place it at the bottom so this side bottom right corner i want to place it so now if i want to place it at the bottom right corner so what i can do here so here it should be something like bottom zero pixel so i will try to place it as bottom zero pixel if i try to place it as bottom zero pixel so here you'll be able to see at the bottom okay here you'll be able to see at the bottom and now what i will try to see i want to make it as a right side so i can make it as a right zero pixel so right zero pixel means it will move to the right side so here it will move it so like this wherever i want to place it i can place this element <coughs> so this is the absolute thing so if i want to place it at the top also you can place it so top zero pixel you will try to make it so top zero pixel and this has to come so here it moved to the top zero pixel so this is the this is how actually the what i can say <coughs> the position absolute element will work, will work so position absolute element will remove it directly from the dom element and it will place it wherever i want to place it it will place it directly so there is also another behavior in the absolute which we want to discuss it i will try to discuss you so here we will be having a div class is equal to parent okay so for this parent what i will try to do is for this parent i will try to apply width of 200 pixel and height of 200 pixel i don't know how much big it will come 100 pixel only will try to make it and i will try to apply a background color background color of red so this is parent now let's try to see how the output will come so here we are able to see this is the box inside this box we are having another one that is nothing but a child element new class is equal to child element and for this child what i will try to do dot child i will try to apply width of something around 30 pixel and height of around 30 pixel and this background color i will try to place it as blue okay so this is the chain now this parent this child element will be inside this one only fine now what i will try to do so this one will be something around i will try to keep it as margin top or something like that 100 pixel and i will try to keep margin margin bottom oh sorry margin left it will be something around 50 pixel 50 pixel 50 pixel try to make it so that it will it will come somewhere in the middle not in the yep yeah, so yeah this is the placement now what i will try to do this one this element is there right child element i will make it as a position absolute so child element i will make it as a position absolute absolute means it will be removed from the parent okay 
so it will be removed from the parent now what i will try to do here i want to place it at the top so i will be placing at top of zero pixel if i place this one as a top zero pixel now you try to observe it here okay so this has moved to at the top now what i want to do i want to make it as so this right this left side corner i want to make it so then what i need to do here i will keep it as left side zero pixel now it will be moved to the left side corner so wherever i want to place this one i can place it so bottom zero pixel right side zero pixel left side zero pixel so here right side zero pixel top zero pixel so wherever i want to place it i can place this blue color element so this absolute element will be is de detached it is detached from this parent element and it is moving across all the html plane so wherever i want to place it I, I am able to place it so for example you can give it in the percentage also so we already discussed about the percentage sizing units so if you want to place it 30 percent means it will come down so you can make it something around 50 percent or something like that and you can make it center so like this you can place it wherever you want so now what will happen is for example let's say that i remove for, for this one position absolute okay immediately it will move into the parent element so it will be placed in the parent element what i want is here i want this one to be instead of placing at the left side top i want to place it at the right side bottom here in the parent only in this parent only it should be moved it should be moved wherever i want it but it should be moved inside this parent only it should not go wherever it want it should it should revolve around inside this parent only wherever i want it it should move around in this parent only then what i need to do is then for this parent i should i should make it as a relative okay and here for this one i should make it as a position absolute now what i want to do so here what i want to do i want to place it at right side bottom so i can place it at right zero pixel and also bottom zero pixel that's it now if you try to see here it has placed exactly where i want it so right side bottom i am able to place it now this time this has not moved to at the bottom of the html this this is moving relative to its parent why because i have made this one parent relative because of that reason relative to its parent it is moving across the parent parent element so now here wherever i want to place it i can place inside this parent rule. this position absolute element will move across its parent if the parent doesn't have a relative thing means it will move across to the html so it will take the html as its reference and it will move here at the bottom so this is how the absolute actually works in the according so this will work according to the relative so if any closest to parent is having a relative means to that closest to parent it will work so this is one of the concept of the relative absolute <clears throat> so this is about the relative and absolute fixed is a direct concept so fixed is direct so for example you have a child element and you have made it as a fixed okay I have made it as a fixed and it should be placed around something like top top 20 pixel okay top 20 pixel or something like this so now wherever i scroll so this one will be remain like that only so for example if the parent is having around the height of 200 viewport height or viewport width now if you try to see wherever i place it it will be present in that place only so this is mainly useful for us when you try to see a chart chart box or anything for example let's say that i will design a chart box for this one so here this one chart now okay you'll be having an element so child element will be uh, instead of having within this one so background color light blue you can have it and if i try to see here so we are able to see a chart now button right so i want to place it at the top right side so at the top right side we are able to see it normally so i want to make it as so right zero pixel and bottom zero pixel okay i have made it so this one is a position fixed so now if i try to see the output so here i am able to see the chart now so wherever i am scrolling this element so wherever i am scrolling this one so the scrolling is going on but here the chart now is placed here only so if you want to move it something like uh, this uh, right side somewhat 20 pixel you want to move it from bottom if you want to move it little bit up means so what you can use is use is so here i can say that from bottom move to 20 pixel and right 20 pixel you can give it so now it will move little bit like this okay so that is all depends on the sizing units and all those things so now this one will behave as a chart now so in the real time scenario we'll use it like this fixed behavior 
and absolute and all those things will be we will use it in the menu navigation and all those things we will use it so this is about the fixed nature now we have another concept that is nothing but a sticky so sticky uh, if i want to show you the sticky so where is that paragraph elements i will try to show you in that place only yeah these are the paragraph elements which we are having it right for nth of type 2 so i want to make it as a sticky so i made it as a sticky this one so let's try to remove these all things so now here i am scrolling this one okay paragraph 2 i made it a sticky nothing will happen okay nothing will happen if you give it only sticky nothing will happen now what i what i will try to give is so it should be at the top zero pixel now when i give it as a top zero pixel so now if you try to place it see paragraph 2 until and until the when the scrolling is happening so it will be <clears throat> it will remain like this only so when it reaches this zero pixel then immediately it will try to behave as a fixed element so this it will try to behave as a fixed element when it comes to here when this element position has been reached means then again it will behave as a normal element it is a combination of relative and the fixed so a sticky means it is a combination of the relative and the fixed thing so here if you want to make it as a top 20 pixel means so you will be having some gap at the top so when it reaches so here you will be able to see it so now when it reaches the 20 pixel so gap here 20 pixel gap so now immediately it will behave like this at the top so this is about the sticky behavior the only concept which you will be feeling comfort, uh, con, uh, confusing is the combination of relative and absolute when we need to use how it will behave that's it remaining all are uh, basic things only so this is all about the static relative absolute fixed and sticky so these are the positioning elements which we will be using in our css so if you want to other than the float and all those things if you want to place an element wherever you want in the screen means then we will use this positioning method static relative absolute and the sticky so these are the positioning methods